there and experience to go around as we kick it off in game number one. Yeah, coming out early, looking for Solari to try and get some plays going, get a little bit of early pressure. Looks like they're just kind of throwing the house at him right now. All three players coming downfield trying to get involved. Nothing really going to come of that, though. And both of these teams, towards the uh, the middle of the pack in terms of scoring, you've got Magnifico in there at you know, 1.7 goals per game throughout this second stage. You know, as a team, you certainly like to be around that two-goal mark, certainly three if you can... Uh, get there like a BDS is up there at about two and a half. No surprise to see where they're at, though they are also in the two and one bracket, and we will see them a little bit later on within this round. As Exotic has his pocket picked, and Dementia is going to drop one down for Atomic. Looking to roll one through, but that first touch rolled away from him a little too much. Here goes Exotic looking for a dunk and getting nothing. Greasy's positioning has been really solid so far. He's not overcommitting on trying to get back too quick. He's really pacing himself well. He's been able to kind of jam those uh, passing lanes so far and pick a couple pockets, as you were saying there, on the offensive half. Once again, in there, misses the ball, but still gets right in Kyrian's face. If he's not making contact with the ball, he's making contact with the player right now. Um, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of Greasy so far. Magnifico's going to struggle to get good looks at the net. They are against a Solari team that, even going back to their time of the rival series, has been known for playing frustrating and locked down defense. They are a team that, the only teams that have allowed more or fewer goals per game so far today have been Vitality, Guild, and the Giants. Two of those teams, by the way, are 3-0. Exotic's gonna miss this, but Yukis is there to back him up. This will go around the boards. Dementia knocked out of the play. Exotic waiting. Doesn't have many options, so this will be cleared away. But it's not a great clear from Dementia. Greasy Meister has to finish the job. Great touch here from Atomic being that third man. A little forward. Oh, man, I got distracted by what I was talking about there. Atomic actually going to finish that one off. Atomic comes in from the back. Presses up as that third man. I was about to say it's a little bit dangerous coming forward. Your third man back. Knew he had it all the way and stays on the ball all the way through. Sees it to the finish. 1-0 as we approach the halfway mark in game one. You know, last night during the grid, I made the comment that Turbo's a great veteran, very patient player. Then he just got juked out of his car not 20 seconds later. Hey, Magnifico's really going to struggle to get good looks on the offensive end, and they score. Here is Exotic trying to fake out Greasy Meister. Good luck. He's seen it all. I think he actually no. ended up using both jumps there. It looked like he was trying to set himself up to do a, a flick there, and he ended up double jumping, so he didn't have the flick left, which made it a lot easier to read that. On the defensive side, Exotic with a last-ditch effort gets the save. Kieran going to be able to clear this one out, but Dementza going to keep this one alive for a moment here for Magnifico. This goes across. Yukis was creeping up but could not commit to the attack. Ball was just out of his reach. Carrion and Yukis, it'll be Yukis that will try to control this. He was looking for that midfield boost. It never spawned behind him. And Exotic forced to make a save as Magnifico tried to mount yet another attack. Breezy up for Atomic. Instead, it's Dementia who has to take over. He can drop this down to Atomic though, and a lot of power Ooh. as Atomic scores for the second time. The power on that shot, perfect placement, that pass from the ceiling from Dementia, great play, set up, ball was called for, everything went, a, went according to plan there. Comms on point, great shot. Atomic is such a threat on the field for this Magnifico team. It's so weird to go from talking about North America's Atomic for the yeah. entirety of the grid last night to Both of them are pretty Magnifico's cool. Atomic as that is bounced out and away. An exotic blocked by Greasy. Yeah, both Atomics are very good at what they do. Here's Dementia. Drop down for Greasy Meister. And that just sailed on him a little bit. So what happens the day that we get NA versus EU again and Atomic is against Atomic? 
Well, we almost had a similar case with Siki versus Siki between Europe and Oceania. And I don't know what we would do there. You know what? We'll just cross that bridge when we come to we, it. We, we should have a different set of casters to have yes. to figure it out. We sit yeah. that one out, Stax. Yeah. You know what? Jorby and Johnny Boy can have that one. <laughs> Atomic for Greasy. Intercepted by Yukis, but not cleared out of the zone. Though Atomic did not read that one very well. He does keep possession, however. As Magnifico... Look, there's not a whole lot that's flashy about this squad. But they are frustrating to play against as Exotic will add one here. They finally break down with seven seconds left. And now Supersonic, there is at least a window for Solari in game one. There's a slight shimmer in the distance in the at the end of that black hallway, that tunnel. There's a tiny, tiny little glimmer of light. A little bit of hope there. They're going to need a goal here quickly as we count down. Final three seconds. Looking like this one's going to get grounded out by Greasy. It is. Magnifico going to take down game number one. Atomic being that guy to finish those shots for him. And that game really, I don't necessarily want to say slow. There was flashes of speed passes and a couple moments there on the Magnifico side, but it really did feel kind of like that first game feeler match. I'm expecting game two. By the time we get to game three, both of these teams to be in full swing and speed just flying down the field. Yeah, 11 shots for Magnifico. No surprise that they are on the winning end here in game number one. You know, it was very important, though, at the very end of that game, you know, Solari on their uh, on their last kickoff, making sure that the ball went opposite the third man for, or rather, Magnifico making sure the ball went opposite Solari's third man on that kickoff. He went right. They made sure the ball went left, making it even tougher for Solari to get downfield and even get a look at the net. Little things like that, that a lot of people don't think about, that's what separates really good players from the professionals like we're seeing here. Yeah. Yukis definitely needs to get a little bit more involved here this round. I'm sure he wants to be. It just seemed like he could not get in. They kept getting the ball around him last match, not really letting him get a lot of touches, a lot of looks. Looking for him to get involved already, though. He's at least going to make it known that he's on the field. Takes one of them off the play. Atomic took a wide turn to give Breezy Meister all the space he needed. And the demo on Exotic means more pressure for Magnifico. And again, they're, they're a team that just when they get a lead, except in rare cases like what we saw in Game 5 against uh, Vitality at the very end, when they get a lead, they don't relent. They don't make too many mistakes to let you back in. Dementia's is going to add one here as he gets his first goal of the series. And now it's going to be even tougher for Solari to get any offense going because they just seem to go into damage control mode, Magnifico. And again, I, I mentioned the word frustrating. That's exactly what it has to be playing against a team like this. Yeah, they're a team that likes those kind of quick transitional goals or that or that solo man play, right? Kind of like what we just saw from Demensa, where he got them to bite, come forward, but he got up so quickly to go after that ball again, he ends up getting two to bite, and the guy comes out of goal, leaving an open net for him. He didn't have to put any power into the ball, just kind of finesse it over the top and let it float in. And once they get ahead, we've seen them go into that lockdown defense. We watched it uh, last week in their group, where Magnifico really did kind of have this Overly defensive play style. Dementia last second save comes blasting from the other end of the field to make it back just in time. Another big drive from Yukis, but it goes high and wide. A rare opportunity. They've got to cash in on those. That's got to be down and on target if they want to get into Sunday's playoff bracket. Another save by Atomic as Magnifico will try to get downfield quickly. He will do so, but Carrion is there ahead of everybody else. Good control from the Solari defense. That's a slight double commit, though, between Yukis and Exotic. It should allow Magnifico to get downfield, though they were kind of in recovery mode. Greasy Meister redirected that on target, and Exotic was with him the whole way. Excellent job on the defensive end, reading the play and reacting to it. Yeah, that, that can be a dangerous shot. That's a hard read. That's one of those ones that gets by a lot of players, but exotic expert plays. He just kind of shadows that ball in, shadows the uh, 
the offensive player there and ends up being in the way to knock it out. Exotic off to the side, got the boost and avoided the demo so he can set up Carrion. And Carrion is the catalyst for this Solari team. Whenever they need a clutch goal, that's who they turn to, but it's Exotic this time who cashes in and he has tried they have tried as a team to get this cross field pass. Finally, they connect and Exotic couldn't have placed it any better. You know, it. those are the types of plays that you're going to get the majority of your goals. These are the things that you've got to be able to do. I talked about it a little bit yesterday during the NA grid where you need to be able to play good, solid rotational and kind of you need to have these cookie cutter kind of style plays where you can pass it out into the open field when you know it's available and someone be there every time to make that attack on the ball. It doesn't need to be a flashy hit. It doesn't need to be that carry. If you can get that nice touch and put placement on the ball the way Exotic did and drop it in that upper 90, making it extremely difficult to get to, that will win you games. Yukis trying to lob one through. Now Carrion will try his luck. His teams will settle in once again. Breezy Meister for Dementza, no. Now here goes Exotic after they got the demo on Dementza. Atomic back to foil this play. Now crossfield they go again, but Dementza peels off. He's gonna dump that to his own corner, but Exotic is still downfield waiting for it. Atomic in a tough spot. Yuke is breathing down his neck, but Atomic made the stop. Now he can try to break this out downfield with a minute to go in game number two. Yeah, so far this match definitely looking better for the side of Solari. They're getting everybody involved. Yukis is getting up, able to make touches on the ball. It's cleaning up this rotation for them, and it's kind of become this back and forth. Each team makes one or two attempts at the net and then gets back out and gets on D. They're definitely in the side of we would rather go to OT than give up a give up a goal at this point. So both teams playing very cautious here in their rotations, just looking for a crack that they can try and squeeze that ball through. It'll be Greasy Meister challenging Exotic. What is Atomic going to do on this play? He's going all the way back, which means Dementia may have to turn on this in the corner. No, he will give way to Atomic. 13 seconds remain before it, it seems like we're just on a crash course. Or a collision course with overtime, but Ooh. that misplay is going to open things up for Exotic, and Solari may have just stolen game two. What a fake there. Goes up. Dementa bites. Goes high for it. Exotic sees it. Comes down off that ball. Catches it right as it hits the ground. Gets underneath it. Floats it over the top. Perfect amount of force on that ball. And sneaks it in under the bar. Yukis almost on target. Exotic gonna clean it up. Doesn't matter. They were taking this one down anyways, but they're gonna secure that with that extra goal. Two seconds on the clock. This one's gonna go the way of Solari. Hey, pad the stats. Why not, right? Absolutely. Make 3 1. That's four goals for Exotic. All the goals have come from one player on either side, with the exception of uh, Dementa has one goal. He had Atomic scoring the, uh, the only two goals in game one for Magnifico. Exotic scored the one goal that Solari had in that first game, and then a hat trick from Exotic here in game two ties up the series. And again, there wasn't a whole lot flashy going on here. Just show up, put the ball in the net, tip your cap, you're all right. We have a game here, sirs. Yeah, uh, interesting stat there. Both games so far, Solari has had at least one goose egg all the way across on somebody. So not a stat that you usually want to have, but you took down the game, so it's going to work out this time. Um, but they definitely got more involved that match. Yukis getting involved seemed to change up the pace of play for Solari, and they really did start kind of sticking it to them there at the end with Exotic just being the finisher that he needed to be, getting all three of those goals and set himself up for the hat trick. And you wouldn't expect it to be carrying in any given game, but it was in that game with all goose eggs. But they get the dub. That is what matters. They tie up the series. Now we go to Utopia, looking to break this one-all deadlock. Atomic on his way back. He's going to be in an awkward spot. So too is Dementia, but Magnifico has made the best out of it. Yukis got that midfield boost, though Atomic came away with the ball. 
Now let's see what Yukis does with that boost. He is waiting for a pass from Exotic, and it's not gonna be needed as Exotic scores yet again. Nobody got back for Magnifico. I think somebody got spun out. Yeah, somebody got spun out there in the back. I think Greasy got stuck in the back. One of the one of the other guys got bumped. And then I don't know that that was a pass. That was Yukis attempting to try and pad his stats. He was trying to take one off Exotic there. No extra touch needed. He almost got it. Uh, I'll give him that. He was almost on it. So Atomic trying to pinch that around the boards and out. But no, it comes right back in. So Dementia will try. This now is Atomic. something. Yeah, they, they're doing all they can to try and get across midfield. And Solari have solved the puzzle, I think, super. Yeah, a little bit of an overcommit there. And, and that's exactly what I was about to go into. And Kyrian was somebody who was doing this in the last round, too, is that he's really getting up. He's getting high in the midfield and trying to break plays up there rather than let them come down, where we've seen Magnifico do that as well. But Magnifico, I'd say, storyline-wise, has been much more willing to kind of let the ball come to their half, shadow it in, and then bring it back around, have the three-man, and then go out and attack. They like to kind of set that play up in that sense. Uh, Solari really just wants to beat you in the midfield and just kind of wear you down mentally. Pass out, demo through, carrying, gonna finish. Nice play here from Yukis to set this all up. Brings it down, immediately catches the back of Demensa, opens it right up through the smoke, Atomic and... Um, who was that? Atomic and Greasy, just unable to get the read on the ball from that demo. Finally, somebody other than Exotic shouldering some of the weight here. At least on the goal scoring side for Solari. They open up a two goal lead and now it's Magnifico trying to get back into this series. They have not had much life since they took game one. Atomic. Lobbing netward, it was open, but the shot wide and Carrion got there for the clear. Yes. And then everybody got caught spectating and Exotic makes it six in the series. I I don't know how calculated that was. I I wasn't, I was about to go in on Carrion a little bit because he turned, he turned off the ball and I think he had a misread at first to go for the save and then saw that he needed to cut back in because he did cut right and then immediately back out of that idea to go back for the ball and I was about to kind of harp on him a little bit but he turns it around and turns it into a pass into an immediate just transitional goal so I guess I can't say anything here great great job on what I think was a misread nice goal yeah great goal turn it around 3-0 we're not even at the halfway mark yet Atomic trying to get one here Demensa with a touch Gets two defenders. They do save that one, and Yuka's going to drop back into that third-man position. Kyrian brings it across to Exotic. It looks like they went for, like, a 1-2-1-2 play there. Unfortunately, that second two never came through. Another shot sails high on Yukis, but Exotic there to keep it deep in the Magnifico zone. As the underdogs in this series, make no mistake about it, do get a pinch down field. Solari seems to have kind of a, a chokehold on this game here. They are not giving Magnifico many opportunities or many windows with which to get back into this. Atomic and Greasy Meister collide with each other. So this is a free clear for Solari that I'm sure they're going to want back because that was not a good clear at all. It results in another shot right on target. And now Exotic down to Carrion and that's intercepted by Dementia. Yeah, they're really kind of getting in their face again. This ball just keeps getting jammed in the midfield, and the times that they are getting the ball down and anywhere into uh, into the defensive half for Solari, Solari's catching the ball in the corner. They're not really letting this ball get through the corner and near the net, and if they do, it's just what we saw there. Exotic was going to go cover that corner because it's where they're expecting it, but he's set in a way that he gets back around and has great position on that backboard. That's a terrible touch, though as they drop that one down into the hands of Atomic and he punishes them for it. One of the toughest things to do in all of Rocket League, other than get out of Platinum, trust me, is to play consistently good defense throughout an entire series. Eventually you're going to slip up and you just hope that someone like Atomic is not there to punish you when you do make a mistake. That time he was there. How many more chances like that, though, will Magnifico get? Carrion, trying to get by Dementza. He does not. 
Yukis only gets a piece of this, so Greasy going wide, trying to bring it in, and Exotic right there to stuff him on the wing. And not a lot of follow-ups for Magnifico. They have been one and done very often in the offensive end. Yeah, they're, they're starting to commit on that last run. Demensa decided to go ahead and try and chase down the defender and go for the demo, uh, a demo play, but really he never had a good chance at that. There was a second player right behind that guy that was going to be able to get in and defend the net anyways. So he takes himself out of the play, and by doing so, you've now committed two downfield. If your third man comes up, most likely you're looking at an opportunity for them to do a transitional goal behind you and punish you for it. So your third man has to back off, which doesn't allow you to maintain that pressure. Shot from Yukis, Atomic there to break it up. Greasy trying to pass this one out. Dementa trying to get to it. Not going to be able to find himself a demo on Yukis. It gets the pass back in. Atomic with the shot now. And Exotic going to take this one out to the corner and hand it off to Yukis. A few times coming down the stretch, Solari was able to catch the ball in their own end and then just casually dribble out to and across midfield. You cannot afford them that much time and space, especially when you're down multiple goals very late in the series or in the game. And now you are down late in the series. It was only 10 shots between these two teams in game three, but it goes to Solari. It was now one win away after all this. And, and you wouldn't know because, again, they don't play with a lot of flash and flair. They're one win away from going into the playoffs. Yeah, and, and they're not uh, in that last match. You sit there and look at it. There, it's not a ton of flair. They're not taking a ton of shots. But when they do take shots, they are converting. They are getting those goals. They took four shots three of them converted. So they converted 75% there. That's that's a great statistic to have. And if you're playing the way you are in the midfield and getting those break up and being able to create a little bit of extra pressure, maybe it's not pressure on the net, but you're at least aggravating. You're in their face. You're bothering them. You're not letting them play the style of play that they want. It turns into W's for you. And right now they've set themselves up for a space man sweep. Seven goals from 17 shots on target for Solari. It's a good recipe for success, even though it's not a ton of shots. As you mentioned, good shooting percentage. They are taking uh, the approach of quality over quantity, and it has been high quality. Demensa saved by Carrion, as a couple defenders from Solari went. Atomic tried to drop one down to Greasy Meister and Greasy didn't have the faith as he turned away from it. He will turn on this ball, however, lobbing up to the backboard and Carrion is right there to meet the ball. Yeah, I mean, they Not must many have, juicy rebounds. They must have heard Subi talking about uh, yep. Scrub Killa's shooting percentage and while we were in between matches and said, you know, we can, we can do better than that. Carrion going to bring one in, sneaks it under and just past the defender off this kind of awkward touch from Demensa and Yukis and the speed of carry it just gets there, catches Atomic just a little too far up and unable to get the turn in time, can't carry his momentum through to get back into the net. And they're gonna go up 1-0 here as we approach the end of the first minute in game four. Breezy trying to dribble through. He's gonna have to make something happen all by himself. Intercepted by basically the entirety of Solari. That will go as a shot on goal and a save for Yukis. Atomic off the far post. Ooh. And then the half flip by Yukis to recover as Breezy Meister tried to convert on the rebound. And if Magnifico could not score there, when will they? It was a great attempt by Atomic. He just couldn't get enough forward momentum. I think he just ran out of boost, so he didn't have enough forward speed to actually put into that ball to get it to cross that goal line. Ends up catching that far post. Unfortunate situation. That's the, those are the most heartbreaker ones where you're like, man, I've got this, and then the boost runs out and your heart just sinks. It is Carrion trying to follow this and catch up to Greasy's clear. And now Demensa downfield. It's a good ball, but saved by Exotic. Good rotations from Solari, not giving up a cheap one. Atomic knocked into <laughs> next week and maybe knocked into next round as he couldn't follow that play up. Yukis carrying this across, and Exotic left in a tough spot, and he makes the save as well. Nice half flip from Exotic. 
Good use of the boost to try and get out there and not let the next player coming up make a good touch on it, which results in them being able to get a little pressure back on the ball and bring it down in to their opponent's half. Yukis can try and make a play off the roof here to carry in the Mensa there to greet him. Solari is closing in on a playoff berth two minutes away and a little bit of change from getting that all important third match win. Yukis indirect for Exotic. A decent challenge keeps the play back into the Solari end. But it's going to be kind of clutch time here for Magnifico. Yeah, these are those those moments. You're getting to these final two minutes. You really want something to happen now. You want to have a little time left on the clock to be able to get another goal, get a little pressure off you, let that pressure even out across both teams because it, it does put a little pressure back onto Solari because they obviously want to finish this now they don't want to go to a game five and have to experience that so they need to find something here love the attempts that they're making on these infield passes unfortunately they haven't been able to quite convert or get them in field enough to be able to make that cut Demenza gonna get a nice touch into that upper 90 what a touch here great car control as he pulls back just enough so that he doesn't end up overpowering it into the bar you can see him just kind of pulling back spins off of it and touches it perfectly into that upper 90. How many times do you see a, a, a shot like that, an opportunity, end up sailing high and off the crossbar? Excellent control by Demenza at a point where they absolutely needed it. Back against the wall. And Demenza, who has been so good throughout the series, oh. comes through. Carrion almost brought it back for Solari. And then Atomic had to get there as well for a clear. It's like Solari has kind of been awakened. It looked like they were playing to win one nothing. Oh. And then suddenly after the game shot, it's like, oh, you're not just going to roll over and play dead? Fine. Here is the full brunt of the Solari attack. Exotic. Got the demo there. Atomic's going to be in a tough spot. Got Carrion and Yukis to contend with. And now a big power clear by Greasy is exactly what they needed. Oh, what a pass there. Tries to just bang it in. Gets two to bite. Carrion not going to be able to get any power on that one. Pulls two out, though. Demenza taken off the field and we should see a return of the Solari attack as Kyrian brings it off the sidewall. I think that might have been Yukis's shot that Kyrian jumped in the in front of, popped up for Atomic oh, and beat. stopped by Exotic. Oh, he had the soul read on him there. Yukis now to the ceiling trying to catch up to this. No, Kyrian, low, he was looking for Exotic but got a second touch and we're gonna go to overtime for the first time in the series. That read was so clean. You typically see them get up, and they end up getting a touch. It goes into the sidewall, whatever. No, that was that was just the punch to the gut right down the center. Just cleanly caught that ball. Two goals has been enough to win every game in this series. Losing team has ended up with one in all three games so far. And it's going to happen here in four as well. Bounced off the ceiling on the challenge by Yukis. And now Atomic shot. Nothing to it there. Yukis avoids Atomic's demo attempt and he can still play this ball to the side. Nice comms there as Exotic comes up, almost double commit. You can see him call it. Yukis immediately stops, backs up, and gets into the third man position. Kyrian gonna take over in the corner here, trying to bring it around. Dementa gonna bang it out to Yukis. Not able to get a touch, clean touch on that ball though. Back and forth they go, waiting for someone to make a mistake. They both challenge the ball there, neither got a piece. So it will be carrying. They get a demo on Yukis though. Man off, man advantage opportunity for Magnifico goes by the wayside. Exotic trying to drop it to Yukis and it almost got all the way through. They're now getting as we go. Counter attack is just wide. They had an opportunity there, Super. Yeah, and as we go on, we're seeing more and more aggression come out of the side of Magnifico. They start making these, these bump attempts followed up by a demo immediately from Dementa. You can see him just bang into Kyrian there, take him out, leaves that boost open. Opens up a situation though as Atomic, kind of in a rough spot. Exotic gonna sneak it under, and they are gonna take it down. 3-1 for the series, 2-1 in the match. Minute 35 of OT. That's gotta be a heartbreaker for Magnifico, because again, Remember how close they were to getting into the playoffs just a round ago. 
and then they gave up the lead and the uh, the zero second goal to Alpha, and then battled in this series, and that's how they lose in overtime in Game Four to ultimately drop the series. That's just painful. It, it looked like that ball had to be rolling in in slow motion. Yeah, it, that's definitely one of those ones where you watch and, and time just kind of stops existing in the normal speed. It just slows down, comes to a halt, and you just kind of watch it go in. There's nothing you can do about it. But they do still have another life. They've got another round. They've still got another chance to bounce back. This is a team that has put a fight up against each squad they've gone up against. So in both losses, it hasn't looked like blowouts. It hasn't been disastrous performances. There's little mistakes here and there. They're having a couple too many double commit situations. And if they can clean those up into round five, I think that they still have a strong chance of getting through. It'll depend on who they go up against, obviously, which we'll find out here in a few moments. But great performance from both teams, and congratulations to Solari as they uh, solidify themselves into tomorrow. So Guild Esports, 3-0. and Renault Vitality, 3-0. and They are in. Solari joins them among the teams that are 3-0 and and still many other matches going on right now. Top Blokes and Triple Trouble is a, uh, a win and in, as is Team BDS and the Giants. Those are still yet to come. In fact, we've got one of those matches, and we want to hear what you have to say about all these matches on Twitter as well. Use the hashtag RLCSX. Had to think for a moment there. The uh, the little gray cells are working, and tweet at RLE Sports. Who do you think is going to play their way in to tomorrow's playoff bracket when all is said and done here? We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, more of round four as the European Regional continues. <laughs> 